So you're either choosing your first vlogging tripod, or you're wondering whether or not you should ditch the Joby Gorilla Pod and find something else. To make sure you don't purchase one that sounds like something a Pokemon would say, I'm going to put these two popular vlogging tripods to the test and point out the good parts and the bad parts of both so that you can make the right decision for yourself. I'm also going to show you some alternatives later on if neither of these sound like the perfect fit. So when Peter McKinnon posted his video about the Mantis Pod Pro, everybody went nuts for it and pretty much everybody I know that does YouTube went out and bought one. Yeah, I only know about three other people. <laughs> but does Peter McKinnon actually think it's any good and does he still use it? Well, in all honesty, I don't care what he uses. What I care about is what's best for you, and that's why I'm making this video. The perfect vlogging tripod has to hit certain criteria. It's got to be lightweight, compact, fast and easy to set up, versatile, being able to be used in different terrain, for example, flat surfaces and uneven surfaces like this ground here. That and above all, help you be a better videographer and make better videos. Now, can't guarantee that one, but finding a tripod that works will help take your mind off the frustrating things that happen while you're vlogging, like setting up, and it will free up your headspace to focus on what matters the most, which is speaking to the camera and making more videos. I just want to point out that I am comparing the Mantis Pod to the Joby 3K Pro Kit version, which has aluminium ball joints, which makes it a little bit more durable than the plastic versions you might be used to. So the Mantis Pod actually weighs less than the Joby, and it doesn't sound like a lot but when you're out vlogging it does make a big difference i tell you what the weight of this thing and the grip makes it feel so much better to hold it's actually a joy to use i love it i've actually been wanting to change my vlog rig i've been thinking about getting a gopro or something like that but with this the size it is i think i'm gonna be vlogging more if i don't if i don't fall off but it also comes with this wrist strap as an extra safety feature just in case you do drop the tripod. There we go. The Gorillapod 3K Pro kit can support camera payloads of up to three kilograms in weight, whereas the Mantis Pod can go to 2.5 kilograms. Still plenty good enough to hold the most common vlogging setups. The Joby can be a little bit awkward sometimes to fit in bags because of these ball joints. Great having the rubber grip to grip onto certain things, but when you're trying to put it into the side of a bag, it can get stuck and it's really annoying and fiddly to get in there. Whereas this is nice and slim design, it just slots straight in. And if you want to make it even smaller, you can just remove that ball head and it could fit into a pocket or one of your small pockets in your bag. A good vlogging tripod also needs to be adaptable to different scenarios because you never know where you're going to end up. Now the advantage that the Joby has is it has bendy legs so you can adjust these to fit uneven surfaces and even wrap it around things which is extremely handy in certain situations. And the Mantis Pod has solid legs so you may not always be able to balance it on uneven surfaces. However, just because the legs aren't bendy doesn't mean this tripod isn't versatile because it actually has seven different shooting modes. You've got standard vlog mode, extended vlog mode, tripod mode, lowered mode, vertical mode, handheld mode, and Mantis mode. Okay, I'm a little bit disappointed because what I was gonna do was use this in Mantis mode, which is where it clips onto something, on one of these wigwams. But I've got here, and all the wigwams have been taken down. I'm just left with the frame. I can't really mount it to anything like that. And this is where the Joby is so good. Now I did find a cool place to test this Mantis mode out here on this bridge. All I've done is attach the little clip to this wire here. But if it wasn't for that, what I could do is just put it over the top like so, and then just adjust the ball head and then I've got a nice high up angle without needing to take my big tripod with me. Here we go. So I often come to Sherwood Pines, I like filming here because it can be quiet, but I'm always looking for new locations to film and I've just stumbled across this path that's led me to here. Oh no, in fact, I have been here before. This is one of the best climbing frames ever. And I feel like it's fit for adults as well. You know what, I'm gonna have a go. Why not, eh? When in Rome. Maybe I shouldn't have come down this way actually. 
Right, we all know speed is a massive factor when it comes to vlogging and filming outside. You've got to be as quick as possible. So how quickly these things can switch modes can greatly impact how efficient you work. What I'm going to do is go from vlog mode to tripod mode and time it and see which one's faster. Right, first up, the Gorilla Pod. Three, two, one, go. Stop. 10 seconds, tripod mode to vlog mode, go. See, this is harder because you've got to get all the ball joints in the right place and then adjust the ball head like that and it's still not quite right. There we go, stop. 13 seconds. And now the mantis pod, go. Four seconds, go. Done. Three seconds, roughly a third of the time. And if you add all that up over time, you're gonna save a lot of time. How many times can I say time? Look how quick that is. That's awesome. The advantages that this has and the speed in which you could change the modes far outweigh this being bendy and being able to wrap it around a tree because I, I rarely do that anyway. I will usually take my bigger tripod with me, which is this Joby travel tripod. I'll leave a link to all of this stuff in the description so you can go check it out yourself. But it's super lightweight, super small. It fits onto the side of my camera bag. And because it's so lightweight, I barely notice it's even on the bag. And I like how that little joint there clicks in place so you don't have to faff around with the ball head but you can make other adjustments with the ball joint if you want to just by using that and I like how it clamps rather than having to screw it because that's a lot quicker in itself and you know it's going to be nice and tight and secure. What I will say about the Joby head though is it's more versatile you can fit different size plates in this head whereas the Mantis pod it has to fit precisely in order to lock in place. A win there for the Joby but if you're only going to use that one plate then it doesn't really matter. So the other feature it has is this cold shoe mount on the side of the tripod and you can actually reposition the microphone. So if I want to stand behind the microphone I can just spin it round show what I'm talking about for example here we go there's the camera and you should be able to hear me nice and clearly still and it won't be all muffled back you'll hear that I'm quite muffled because the microphone is facing the other way. While I do think this is a good feature and the microphone is in a more natural place because it's actually pointing at my mouth and not over the top of my head, I do feel like there's a few drawbacks. For example, the cable has become quite stretched, which is not good. And if you're moving that round all the time, backwards and forwards, it's going to put strain on your cable and eventually it might stop working. So I don't like the idea of that. Plus, if I do want to put it on top of the camera, then it's just one extra thing that I've got to mess about with. Will I be using it? Probably not. If I know I'm gonna to have to be switching back and forth behind and in front of the camera, then I might put it on there and just leave it. If not, then I'll probably just keep it on top of the camera, to be honest. But I do like that they've given us the option. I wouldn't really throw this. I think they're amazing tools. Joby has been the leading mini vlogging tripod for years now, and there's good reason for that. And especially these pro versions with the aluminium ball joints, they last so much longer than the plastic ones. And they are great tools for people like you and me. So I wouldn't discount this completely. If you're still unsure between the two, maybe they're not right for you. I have done some videos of some other tripods. I'll leave links to them here. Go and check them out. Let me know which one is your favorite of all of them and come back and let me know which one you choose in the end. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.